the freaks come out on Friday. Remember that. It's Friday. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> Buckle up, people. Live chat alert. Okay, so I have some news, but I got to wait for people to join. Um, and, you know, or this just might be a playback video. I'm fine with that. Whatever works, right? It's YouTube. We need to say prayers. That was an ambulance. We need to say prayers. Whoever's in that ambulance, God, please lay your healing hands on that person. We know they're scared. We know this is a moment in life where you need to step in. Amen. Hello, Christy Girl Adventures. Thank you for the prayer hands for whoever's in that ambulance. Amen. All right, so, freaks come out on Friday. Now listen, you know I'm a God-fearing person, right? But I also believe in the wrath of God, do you not? Because I rebuke, I rebuke people that are angry and they want to take their anger out on everybody else because I don't know why. I can only guess. Right? It's easier. Hello, beautiful Shireen. Um, it's easy with the social media, right? Now everybody can just dump their shit on everybody, right? So somebody told me I need to humble myself because the people, apparently they speak for the people, right? Uh, they speak for all the people. Um, apparently, I need to humble myself. Girl. I don't know what you're going through in life, but I can promise you, I've been there. I've been there. But thank you, God, for not having the internet or social media when I went through all that shit I went through in my life. And I mean shit. Beyond your comprehension. Okay, uh, I was raised by a single mom. I stepped up, did what I needed to do to be part of the solution for her, not the problem. Of course, I'm sure I was a problem at some point because I was a kid, right? Yeah, amen. Um, I also was a single mom living in a trailer that I paid for off of being a hairdresser for JCPenney. Corporate America uh, took 60% of my pay. And then the government took whatever they take, right? Right? Want to know why I worked there? Because it gave my children health insurance as well as myself. That's why. Priorities, right? I didn't have cell phone. I didn't have internet. I couldn't whine and cry on the internet. You know what I had to do? I had to pull up my big girl pants and make shit happen. And not one day did I let my children see my misery. Want to know why? Because children are a miracle. You chose to give birth. You chose to be their mother. You chose to lead them. You chose that role. And whining on the internet and, and, and complaining because people have YouTube channels. Start your channel up. Start your channel up. Who's stopping you? Nobody except yourself. In fact, it sounds like yourself is the problem. Not YouTube creators. I wouldn't give YouTube creators one dollar. Then don't. But you over there giving the government how much of your money while you're a single mom? Maybe that's where your misguided anger is. Because I don't want a dime from you. In fact, you know what I do? I pay it back. I didn't even get help raising my kids. From the Lord, I did. I prayed to the Lord every single day. And thanked him every single day for having these beautiful children in my life. Because I buried a child. Humble? You want me to be humble? Bitch. I have earned my attitude. And that's because I made it happen. But I never took out my misery on my kids. I never boo-hooed. Because I didn't have time to boo-hoo. You don't know me. You're just dumping your shit on me. 
I had nobody to dump my shit on. You lost your mom to cancer. I'm so sorry, April. Yeah, amen. I mean, I get you're miserable, but you picked the wrong one. You picked the wrong one, bitch. I've been there. I have been at my lowest, sitting at my son's grave. And your at on your channel is F your feelings. You seem like the one that needs to be humble. When you don't know people's story, and then you just go and spill your hatred and your misery. I got a news flash for you. The government's taking more of your money than any, than any, sorry. Am I, are my lips off? Cause you know what? It'll just make it more exciting. Yeah, I have lost so much in my life. And because I choose to buy um, Amish chicken, I'm hoity-toity. Do you know why I buy Amish chicken? Because I don't feel comfortable eating a chicken that was killed for my food that was abused its whole life. I prefer chickens that were treated with kindness, free range. That's why. So uh, a few bucks means more to you than the life that chicken lived. <laughs> Whatever. That's my stand. The abuse of animal and children, okay? That's my stand. Why don't I eat? Why do I like a, a sirloin over tubed hamburger? Are you kidding me? Because I don't know what I'm eating when it's in a tube from a factory, squeezed through a machine. I'd rather go to the butcher and trust the process. I'm sorry, is that hoity-toity? And why do you care? Eat your tube meat. I have been at the lowest. I have shopped at Save-A-Lot for my kids with minimal money, trying to stretch it so they are happy. So F your feelings. How about that? Gen X in the frickin' house. Whiny ass shit. Pull up your big girl pants. You have free will on this earth. You could be anything you want to be. That's your choice. This is a free country. Go get a trade. Go make your bag. Take care of those kids. Do what you got to do. I didn't have daycare either. Uh-oh. Couldn't even afford daycare. I didn't have anybody to help me. My whole life has been F around and find out. My whole life. Someone telling me to humble myself. And they're speaking for the people. And you went and commented on everything recently. So where'd you come from? I could have prayed on you. I could have helped you. But you know what? Help yourself. Just like I was taught. <laughs> end of rant anyway thank you guys for understanding I don't feel like I need to explain myself but this person's miserable and they don't think I've lived that misery which I have I'm not on here uh, to fix your life I'm just living yeah I guess adulting's hard for some generations go out there giving birth to kids and then it, it didn't work out the way they wanted with their partner. Well, welcome to life, <laughs> right? Welcome to life. But I'm pretty sure you had some red flags before you had kids, didn't you? Everybody does. Just ignore them. People are mad about the tube meat, <laughs> right? Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. But, you know, when you put things out there in the universe and I'm supposed to be, like, looked at as if I'm not humble, as if I don't just follow whatever God wants me to do, you know what? Christians will suffer on this earth. And that is a fact. That is a fact and a fact. But can you even imagine? Can you even imagine the torture Jesus Christ went through for you? Torture you couldn't even imagine. And he was sinless. For all the sinners. 
Let that sink in. When you're running around sizing up humans, everybody's been through shit in this world. We're all sinners. Nobody's better than anyone else. So if I'm over here talking about, girl, I will only eat Amish chicken. It's because they're not abused. I feel like if I even ingested chickens that have been abused, what a disgusting, horrible way to feed people. Mass production, trapped in their own feces. Get out of here. The Amish, they run free. They get to live a beautiful life until they are provided for food. Think beyond yourself. Hoity toity, my ass. What's a uh, three bucks more? You act like I'm out there buying bars of gold. I wish that gold's about to go up to three thousand dollars an ounce. I can't afford bars of gold because I'm too busy helping people in need in real life. And you can ask those people what I do for them. I don't want to brag about it, and I don't want to. It's just a, you. How dare you? You don't know me. Anyway, whatever. That's my Gen X attitude. I ain't sugarcoating that shit because I ain't Willy Wonka. I would buy Amish if we had them. Exactly. And yeah, I don't eat meat in a tube either because it grosses me out. So what? That's my walk. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't eat peas either. We got a peas community. How dare you not eat peas? Hoity-toity. No, they're gross. They're gross. Peas are gross. That's my own personal walk. This is my own personal channel. So I'm supposed to talk about you? I don't know anything about you. Why are you worried about what I'm doing over here? Go find somebody else you can cuss out that maybe you can make them cry. You can't make me cry. I've been through it. I have been through it in life. Now, I got to get ready to go over and see my son at his grave, okay? His birthday's coming up. Is this what you wanted? You win. Not really. Fuck you. <laughs> Sugar snap peas. Listen, they're all in here going, no, the peas are good. No, the peas are not. They make me gag. Nope, 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 nope. I can't do it. I can't do peas. I don't care. Mm -mm. Thank you, guys. Oh, I gave it for myself, not to them. I gave it to them in the comments. I gave it to myself on here. You don't even know what tube meat is? Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's ground up from whatever's left over, right? That's what I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it's probably not even good for you. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> they don't even have tube meat in the UK. Yeah, well they do in the US. <laughs> Our standards are, you know, fluctuating then don't eat meat <laughs> I've never ate it either and neither will I ever even when I was poor as shit I didn't eat it I just didn't I just don't consume anything I have to think about it hey lock dog I don't know somebody just rolled up in here and uh, I don't know. Some people cannot, or they have their channel. Uh, they have a channel and they just, I don't know. That wasn't triggered by the way. That was my Gen X attitude. Because all I did when I really read all that was prayed for you. I prayed your situation got better. I prayed that God seen your situation and made your life better. I hope it pans out for you. And that's the truth. But sometimes my sass ass and bit of crass or ass and whatever comes out. I can't help it. I like doing it sometimes. It's raining. I'm not, I'm not doing my hair down today because it just turns into a, you know, Farm salmon's really gray. They put dye in the fake pellet food. That's disgusting. 
Yeah, wishing them well is all I can do. We all have our own crosses to bear. Absolutely. Absolutely. I hate seeing people that miserable that they want, like, they want you to feel bad about yourself, even though I've walked my own journey, right? And thank you, Jesus. I, I rose from the, you know, the hell that I went through. Like, for real. There was a time where I didn't understand life to the point of, why do people have to suffer like this? And then I remembered that Jesus suffered for us. And this ain't even suffering compared to what he went through. And it humbled me. And I thank God for every day. I am blessed. I am grateful. So anyway, I wanted to tell you guys about the power of prayer. You guys all came together and prayed for something you didn't even know what you were praying for. We just got through step one of good news. Step one. And now we got to go through step two. Step two is Sunday. So next week, we will know for sure what's going on. So we need the prayers to keep going. I have never seen such magic out of people who will just pray because you ask them to without even needing to know why. Except for the fact that this person that I want you to pray for means so much to me. And I would not know what to do if something happens to them. And the fact that you guys can pray without even asking for details tells me everything I need to know about you. Thank you. Step one, good news. Step two will be Sunday and we'll know next week where we are, where we're at. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, all you people. That's what means the most to me. That's what humbles me. So this morning was just a, a wash of blessed this morning. Thank you, Christy girl. I know you guys know. Nobody needs reasons or details for prayer. Exactly. Amen. Amen. So we're going to have a good day. You know, we just got all that energy out. Listen, I enjoy. Listen, I, I have had conversations with people in real life, right? And I love when they don't agree with you or they're angry with their own self, but they want to take it out on you. I've, I've encountered that so much. I've worked in customer service my whole life. So I can tell when somebody is just miserable. Okay, that's easy. And and most of them want to dump it on you. That that narcs do that by the way because they want your energy. They want you to share it with them and I didn't really share it with you. I was just being an asshole cuz I enjoy it. It's a sport for me. Like I said, I've worked in customer service my whole life. I've seen the Karens. I've seen the sorry Karens. I've seen the Karens. I've seen it all. And if I internalized it, I wouldn't be good for myself, my family, people I love, or my health. So I won't absorb your misery, your cancer, I'll call it. Because the truth is, we walk this earth. And you either walk in faith or you don't. There's those that walk with God, and then there's those that don't. I ain't over here, and you can't drag me over here. I can pray for you. And if you don't have faith, well, maybe someday you will. But anyway, I like to, you know, even in real life, I deal with this shit. If I feel strong about something, I'm willing to have a conversation. But the minute you put the buzzwords in there, you this, nobody likes you, did did it. Right now, I know, I, right then I know who you are. Now, if you'd have come up in here and you'd have said, you know what, can you... And your community, please pray. Put your hands on me. I'm going through it. Yes, we would. Yes, we would. But you keep walking that path. You're walking. Life isn't easy. It's a shit sandwich. We all take a bite. It's how you deal with it. You are given free will. You don't live in a country. If you, you don't live in a country like that. 
You are. God does for those that do for themselves. But if you keep whining on the internet, you're failing. End of. I, they didn't have internet when I went through it. And I would never have been on there. I mean, I have filled people's gas tanks off of Facebook. Single moms and stuff like that. Don't you tell me who I am. Bet you never have. You're on there whining. Hey, anyone that would give any of you YouTube creators a red cent. Well, be grateful you're not a, a YouTube creator then. Because then why would anybody help you in life? Right? You know, these people that do that stuff on my channel, it goes outsourced. Yeah, that money is reinvested. But you don't need to know that. You don't need to know that. It's none of your business, really. It's just your assumptions. You know what assuming does? Makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> but yeah, I've dealt with people in real life. They feel really strong about something, and I totally respect that. But if their approach is, like, there's just times where it's game on, right? Where you're going to talk down to me or like I'm an idiot. Then it's fun. I actually get like, let's do this, right? I do. <laughs> because I've had that happen. Actually, it happened recently. It, it just happened recently. Because for some reason... This person is just a devil's advocate, like just likes to argue. And, and that's fun for me. I don't go hide or cower or say, oh my God, you're right. That's what they want because they feel like they can't have a debate. It's got to be a full on you're wrong. And that gets you nowhere in life. Let's be honest. But it's the, it's the, the words they use. And then I'm just like, let's do this. Let's dance. Right? I mean, why not? It keeps you alive, right? I don't know. I had I had a lot of family members like, okay, so when you grow up in the 70s, right? And 80s, right? There's no social media. So you can't be insulting people except in real life. And that was a sport in our family. And we laugh our asses off. But these butt hurt people that are just keyboard warriors dumping their shit on people. Is that what social media was made for? Or was it made for a connection of unity? I'm getting confused. Yeah, how many fingers do we have? You're cracking yourself up. Face to face. That's the way to do it. I, I mean, I don't try to beat people down. I'm just like... So how do you explain this? Just listen to me. Oh, I'm listening. But now we're all involved in some just a verbal words. You know what I mean? I can't do that with people. Like you should be able to say, yeah. I mean, you should be able to persuade or they should be able to persuade you through intelligence. But this feeling shit, well, you're just not, you're just not agreeing with me. No, of course I'm not. I'm an individual. I've lived a whole different life than you. How, why would I have to agree with you? Do you see how this, what's happened in the world? Just because they feel it? Some of it's mental illness. And, and you turn it into a whole new class of people. What? Is this what we're doing now? Holy crap, this is going to be gold. This is the best movie I've ever watched. My lifetime. I never would have got this kind of entertainment with no social media. I mean, for real. I was like, you allowed to do this? What? This is great. But then the people out there that actually get their feelings hurt by other people living their lives or speaking their own truth. I can only speak my own truth. How the hell could I speak anyone else's truth? Am I supposed to know you? Oh, I know there's singles mom, single moms out there. Why well, know how I know? Because I've helped them. That's how I know. You're logical like that? Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh. All that should matter is my feelings. Okay. 
Thank you, Helen of Troy, for your $2 of your hard-earned money. Thank you. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. It was, listen, this person got angry because I was going to, you know, change my membership tiers. <laughs> and how dare I have memberships on my channel? It's called a business. How dare a company make you buy the clothes they want you to wear so you all look like robots? That's their whole plan. In case you dress a little funky, you know, individual, they don't want to see that. Yeah, we only wear black pants, black shoes, and either white or gray shirts. Oh, no, we don't give you an allowance. You need to go buy those things. I'm sorry when you work in the hair industry and you're wearing an apron anyway with their big-ass corporate name on it. Uh, bleach gets all over your clothes. They don't care. As long as y'all look like robots. See, that's where your misguided anger should be. The ones that make you spend money and then they give it away to, I don't know, other countries or something. Uh, that you're, You need that money, do you not? Girl, I think I just found your calling. I just found your calling. Instead of arguing pointless arguments with creators on YouTube, which by the way, we are meaningless actresses and actors, you need to go start a real fight. Stand up for single moms. Yeah, there you go. Hell, if they would have had social media when I was going through it, you don't think I would have started a brigade? Probably. I don't know, I was too busy. Hanging out with my kids, not being on the damn internet, insulting other people who uh, rose from the ashes just to um, live a decent life. Yeah, I had better shit to do. I grew up in the 70s. I give a shit what people think. Exactly, Christy. Uh-huh. Same here. But sometimes it's entertainment for me. Maybe it's time we get all these little feelsy wheelsy people to start realizing uh, that the best way to succeed is to quit complaining and start doing. How about that? Like, what? Huh, what? See, I didn't have taxpayers uh, giving me food stamps or cash assistance or rent assistance. Yeah, I didn't get any of that. And if I did, I definitely would have been grateful. You ever bought food from the Save-A-Lot? Whoa. I guess some people have to, but now I don't have to. And I'm making sure the people with kids that I love and care about don't have to. Nope, nope, nope. Because I know that struggle and that struggle was so bad. I hated going in that place. In fact, to this day, I hate that place. Hose water and neglect, right on. Yeah, it's called being lazy in this country. There are a lot of jobs out there. Lots of jobs. Oh, and there's even child care assistance now. What? I had to pay my tips if I had to work an extra hour after my kids were out of school. I had to use my tips so they could go in the after school program. So all my tips that I needed for gas and I don't know, milk, went so I could work that extra hour. Please humble myself. No, no. I was forced to pull up my pants. So guess what? You're going to get the same speech I got in life. Buck up, buttercup. You think this is the worst? <laughs> There's more to come. People who have it easy don't ever appreciate it anyway. Yeah, and the people that didn't have it easy, yeah, don't accuse them of having it easy. Holy shit. Can you imagine? You're, you're at your last stages of life and you finally get a break? That's called grace. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, nobody owed me shit. I chose to give birth to my kids. I'm their mama. You think I'm going to whine and cry? Life's so unfair because I have kids. Well, should have thought that through. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, we didn't have it easy. I didn't have it easy. Get out of here. Humble myself, bitch. I have been humbled more times 
then I have not. Which probably sh explains my sass crass and ass. <laughs> For real. You have to fight a lot of demons to get past the bullshit, don't you? You got to fight a lot of demons. I'm still ready to fight the demons. I don't play with demons. I rebuke them. Go find somebody else's feelings you can hurt. Because it ain't happening up in this bitch. Not any of my subscribers either. And that's the only subscribers I want around. I don't want ones that whine and cry. And life's just so freaking unfair. Because it is unfair. <laughs> it is unfair. Yeah, somebody told me to humble myself. I'm hoity-toity and I'm uh, whatever else. And they speak for the people. <laughs> Boy, you should be a minister. There you go. Be one of those prosperity ones. You know, the ones that really don't believe the word or believe in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who is the only way to God. Be one that just does it for the money. That'd be great. But let me know the name of your church because I ain't going there. I'm not going to be led astray from some prosperity leader. I ain't on here. Give me your last dime. That's what the Lord wants. I ain't on here doing that shit. That is hell. That is not a good thing. That's blasphemy. <laughs> hey, listen, I didn't have any content today, so there's that. So, this was fun. If you woke up today, you got work to do. Every single day. Every single day, I got work to do. You are correct. I don't lay in bed feeling sorry for myself. I feel sorry for other people. If I felt sorry for myself, I wouldn't be able to look outside of myself. Kind of like that person. Shame on you. You should be a better, you should be better for your kids than that. You should teach your kids, I am a rock. And nobody will break this rock. That's how you teach. That's how you raise your kids, whether you're in poverty or not. It is all about the spirit. It's about the mind and the soul. It ain't about money. That means you've been brainwashed. Grow your own food. Go get some chickens. Raise your own. They're cheap. I don't know what to tell you. But I would have helped you, but now I won't. You need to help yourself. That attitude. With that attitude, you need to help yourself. Because the only way to raise good adults from childhood is to show them what a good adult is. Anyway, that was enough of that sermon. Sound like Chantal all day long. Miserable human. Blaming the world for her problems. That's so why I said, put the fork down, Chantal. I do think she was in the hospital for her diabetes. Yep. That's all right. She's fucking around and finding out, I suppose. She said she's never going to eat crap food again. We shall see. Some people, they don't learn lessons. Yep. But you can't fix that. You can't fix stupid. I feel like your kids are probably really cool people. I hope so. I did my job. I'm not going to helicopter. I'm not going to helicopter them. I'm not going to tell them uh, about themselves and their own life choices because... It's their walk. It's their path. Not my judgment. Right? So that's what I do. Just love and grace. Love and grace. But I'll tell you one thing. They're humble. They definitely don't uh, think that they're owed anything. They're not in, they don't feel entitled. They just work harder. Because that's the, that's the things they've seen out of me. I remember one time... Uh, one of my children said, Mom, are you ever going to find somebody? 
I said, I, I, I don't know. I guess it's up to God. Why? He goes, it makes me sad to see you alone. I said, I'm not alone. I am full. My love tank is full. I have you. I have your sister. And I have God. I don't need no man. That's what you teach your kids. You don't run around trying to find a man to take care of you and your kids. What's wrong with these women? What happened to women? Now they all fought for equal rights everywhere. And then they, they give birth to a couple kids and their man leaves them or they leave their man. And then it's, who's going to take care of me? Really? Is that what? what? How do you do this and then... Uh, that's crazy. I mean, women can be anything now. Doctors, pilots, anything. Bye, gal. Have a good day. Have a better day. Right? It's raining outside, and I'm grateful it's raining. I'm grateful it's beautifully ugly out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I don't know. I taught my kids stand up for themselves. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Even if life, like you go cry in your bed at night when your kids are sleeping and having happy dreams, you don't put that burden on your kids. You know, your kids don't need to know that you're like literally uh, one slice of bread away from starving. You don't let your kids, you don't do that. You don't, you turn that misery around. Because like I said, the if you're feeling all these emotions, you're not able to think clearly. What can I do to fix this situation? And when you pray about it, believe it or not, out of nowhere, a solution comes. Like for real. Yeah, my mom didn't do that either. She was just like, it is what it is. And we got shit to do. And I appreciate that every day. But I've seen those moms. I've seen the horrible things those moms have done to their children. Because they just feel like life was unfair to them. But they, they, their children suffered. Suffered. At the hands of their own mother. The one person on this earth who is supposed to protect their children is the one that carried them. And it makes me sick that all these entitled, whiny, life is unfair people lost their children. Oh, it's so sick. Yeah, I never told my children when things were really bad. I didn't. Even in the toughest times, I made my kids laugh because they deserve their childhood. They deserve their childhood. Can you imagine dumping your emotions on your kid? They can't even process them. And did you know that every kid will blame themselves regardless? They will find a way to blame themselves for your bullshit choices. Get out of here. Swimming Mermaid says, facts, I personally know one piece of shit who has three and thinks she's entitled and has been locked up at least 10 times. And she's like 35. It's pathetic. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we've even seen YouTubers had their children taken away and blame the fucking YouTubes. And we've seen them. I've seen the stories. And I'm like... You, you, you're missing the whole point. You are blessed with a child. That should be your only focus, sweetheart. Get out of here. Look at those awful entitled Pete River kids. I, you know, I, that guy was scared. In my opinion, that guy was scared of these kids. I don't know though, I wasn't there. I wasn't there, I have no clue. But from the video, and then he's going to prison. The double possessed YouTuber that tortured her six kids in Utah. Right on. Uh, yeah. That little boy climbing out the window to save his sister's life by knocking on a neighbor's door. With his open wounds under duct tape, saran wrap and duct tape, Ruby Frank. I'm telling you, that's evil. 
And what do we do with evil? We bring it to light. So I always bring it to light. Let's do it. I've said you can't hurt my feelings. I've lived a life where someone tried to hurt my feelings. Many people. If I would have gave in, they win. And I would be, I don't even know. There's people that want to push people to the S word. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? That's a special kind of evil. That's sick. And, and I don't even like, listen, I don't even tap into those kind of brains. Yeah, a sadistic shit, no. The laws are after, right. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody, everybody has their path, right? And some people, unfortunately, when they were children, they were abused, they were neglected, they were, um, they went through a lot of really bad stuff. And the devil can get a hold of you. And, and I don't know why the devil enjoys that sport of destroying the mind of a human being. I don't understand it, nor will I ever understand it. I mean, I've been in some dark places, but I always seeked God for the answers. Not drugs, not alcohol, not hurting other people with my pain. Um, I thank God for that every day. And I wasn't even raised in the church. I wasn't. I just remember laying in bed one night and praying to God out of nowhere. And it changed my life. So I'm supposed to what? What? What am I supposed to do? I do what I can. You know what I'm saying? I do what I can. And yeah, I can. I guess I can seem self-righteous. It's because I've been saved. Why do I want to cry and whine on the YouTubes when I want other people to feel the way I feel? And... um I mean, you don't have to feel the same way I feel about food. I mean, I, I'm a little weird with food. And that's just because I don't trust stuff anymore. That's it. That's the only reason. I don't trust stuff. I just don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think I've watched too many documentaries. Yep. Yeah, I think I've watched too many documentaries of what happens at chicken... Tyson Farms and Chicken Farms and Meat Processing. Like, we're talking... That's why I respect the Amish. I've been to their farms. Their chickens are so happy. My husband babysits grown men in prison all day that call their mommy and tell her they're mean to him. I see, I wouldn't be that kind of mommy. I would not want my entitled person who went and did some act out there and was proven to have done the act and is now sitting in prison calling me whining every day. That's why when I address stuff, it's because I want to. Don't whine to me. Go make your shit happen. Be proud of yourself. Make your kids proud of you. We live in America. You got every opportunity in the world. Go to trade school. Why don't you learn an online data processing? Work from home. I don't even want to hear it anymore. Now with the internet, you can work from home. So what's there to whine about? You can get grants if you have two kids or three kids or four kids. However many you popped out to take care of on your own. You can get grants where you get to go to school for free. I don't even want to hear about it anymore. We didn't have none of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of a push. Call it self-righteous. Call it whatever you want. Maybe you don't like to hear the truth. Maybe you'd rather just be a victim. Go be a victim. You're probably shanty for Christ, sitting on a couch rotten like a toad while you beg on the internet for your drug money. Gave your kids away to the state. Stop it. Oh, poor shanty. So there's that. 
It's fuck around Friday, isn't it? I drag my ass to work 10 to 12 hours a day. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I didn't even have a cell phone. I didn't have, there was no internet. I didn't have a cell phone. I had my neighbors like, did my kids get off the bus? Yep. <laughs> right? Calling their landline from my work. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. They're sitting on social media being a victim and whining all day. You could have spent that time working. Or even making a channel for free. You have to have some kind of skill. <laughs> or not. God. I think most know a total piece of S that shouldn't be allowed to be around decent people. Well, and that's the thing. It's like, um, you, you, you know, if you meet somebody and, and you're just looking for a man to make you feel valued like Chantal does, right? To make you feel better. You can't until you feel good about yourself. Until you feel like you have something to offer. You can't just take from somebody. And then, and then if you see red flags, will you even notice the red flags? And you're going to bring them around your kids? Do you know how many interrogations I've watched where kids have lost their lives at the hands of a mom's boyfriend? And the boyfriend's sitting in the house while the mom's working to babysit her kids? And he's just, pfft, these kids? And the mom's like, how are we going to... Well, call 911. Uh, let's just say they fell in the bathtub. That's your baby. Are you nuts? I can't. But these women exist. The, a man is more important than, let's say, their cats or their children. Yeah, whatever. I was there a point in my life because I was at rock bottom in life. And I actually believe that could be a thing. Until I got my head right. And I was like, I'll be damned. Women do this. They're like so low in life. They think they need somebody um, that makes false promises or makes them feel like they're worth something in life. I see where that romance is. I get it. I almost bought into it once in my life. But I was at the lowest I could ever be in my life. So anything, any hand that grabbed me and pulled me up Instead of knocking me down, that was idolizing somebody. I don't do that anymore. And God taught me. And I'm grateful every day for that lesson he taught me. My daughter has a boyfriend for two years, still not allowed to babysit. Good for her. Good for her. Yeah, so everybody's been there in life. But you've got to pull yourself up. You have to pull yourself up. Salah's not going to fix Chantal's health. He don't care. He wants her money. Right? He don't care, Chantal. Only you can pull yourself up. Have some pride, man. Stop. You're embarrassing yourself. This perpetual seven-year victim on the internet... Good God. It's pathetic. You look pathetic. You want to be a badass? Get busy. Huh? Get busy. We'd love to see the get busy stage. This victim stage. <sighs> Boring. I just wish she'd go back and another woman would open the door and tell her off. Ah, I don't know who you're talking about, but yeah. My mom just called to say she loved me. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I got to do that too. Matter of fact, that's what I'm, well, I already did once today. Um, and then I got uh, somebody who called, I'm calling them uh, to tell them how much I love them. And God is good. God is so good. We have one more. One more test, people. One more test. We're going to pray like you have never prayed before because this is the finale. We got through one with good news. Let's get through the big one. Let's get through the big test with good news. Please pray like you've never prayed before. Amen. Thank you, guys. I love you all. I hope you have a great day. And listen, if you want to come over here and tell me about myself, trust, trust. 
trust you ain't hurting my feelings. You just created content for the day. Thank you. All right, guys, I love y'all. Have a great day. God is good. Bye.